My name's Matt Burkhalter. I am currently living in Bakersfield, California. I am riding a KTM 390 Adventure. I got it in 2020. I bought the KTM 390 Adventure because I wanted a smaller adventure bike that was lighter, that was capable of doing long distance travel if I wanted to do that, and also had the ability to do off-road riding. And so it was basically the only choice that I could find out there that met all of my requirements. This bike has been fantastic. I have almost 13,000 miles on it uh, since August of last year and I've ridden it on several sections of BDR routes to include the Colorado Alpine Loops, some of the California Backcountry Discovery Route, parts of the Mojave Desert, and also have done some long distance travel, um, riding from Bakersfield, California, up to Yellowstone National Park, and then back home. So it, uh, it's worked out great. It can handle highway speeds if that's what I wanna do, but I try to find as many back roads as I can, and it is really fun to ride. The most unique feature of this vehicle would be the capability of the single cylinder engine. When people think of a small capacity bike, they don't think that it has the ability to run at interstate speeds. And they also don't think about taking something like this off road. So it has that, that dual use that will surprise a lot of people. This bike came with the cast aluminum wheels and I found a flat spot on them a couple weeks ago and I had wanted to go with spoked wheels. It's a little bit more off-road uh, capable, so I put spoke wheels on it. I think the bike looks great with the spoked wheels and it gives me more confidence off-road. I can go a little bit harder knowing that I'm not gonna break a wheel and get stranded somewhere. One thing on my bike that I couldn't live without would be the Black Dog Cycle Works skid plate. The way that the original skid plate came, it was mounted to the engine itself with a rail and that made it really, um, difficult to take it off road and anything very challenging because any hits that that skid plate was going to take was going to get transmitted into the engine. With the Black Dog uh, Cycle Works skid plate, it is mounted such that the skid plate doesn't touch the engine at any point. So any impact that the skid plate takes, it doesn't get transmitted into the engine. And then the other thing is well, there's a lot of complaints about the uh, foot pegs. The original foot pegs were canted forward a little and Black Dog Cycle Works made a replacement foot peg that levels it out, widens it, and drops it a half inch to give you a little bit more cockpit space. Places I wanna to go to next, I would like to ride to Prudhoe Bay on this bike. Uh, I rode to La Paz, Mexico this last year, but there's also a lot of great riding in the Southwest that I would like to experience that I haven't been able to do yet. There is a pannier rack behind here the pannier rack came from India. India got this bike a year before we got it here in North America, so they had an opportunity to start making parts for these. So when I first got the bike, I needed some of this stuff, and that seemed like the most logical place to go because nobody else here had started making it. So the pannier rack and the uh, tail rack came from India, and it's worked out great, and it was very cost-effective. Luggage, this is the Wolfman Expedition luggage which I got at the last expo because it was in their bargain bin. So for $200, I threw some, some new panniers on. Yeah, I've got some bottle holders attached to the front and back. I, I like the bottle holders because I can throw uh, water in here and not have it mounted high on the bike. And then it has some little pouches in here where I'll put little battery packs and cables. Just, it's a little stuff and go um, packs that I put on the luggage. Up front, on this side, I've got my puncture repair kit that has a small rechargeable compressor, levers. If When I had tubeless, I've got tubeless plugs. So I've moved that. On the other side, I have all of the tool, my tool kit. So anything I would need to do any work on the bike, I move that to the front and put it on the crash bars to move weight off of the back to try to get the weight more balanced on the bike. Uh, the top, I have a roto packs on here because of riding through parts of Nevada. There were areas where it was 150 miles between fuel stops. I have a tail pack on the back. I do make my own videos, so I've got a drone in the back here and just some miscellaneous camera stuff and then snacks if I need snacks. And then I also have a small tripod mounted on the back of it. I put a windscreen here on because the one that came with it's really short. All the wind was catching me right in the chest too. And just a, a phone holder here just for navigation. I did replace the fork springs, the, fork, the forks themselves under the weight of the bike. 
where uh, the sag was around 40%, so it was really, really low or a high amount of sag. So I put new progressive fork springs to give me a better ride off-road. So now it brought the sag into around 30% when I'm on the bike, which is right where I wanted it to be. Um, I've got the double take mirror, so if I do end up going over the handlebars at, at, one, at any point, they'll fold out of the way, or if I drop the bike, they'll fold out of the way and I don't have to worry about braking them. This bike doesn't have cruise control, so I do have an Atlas throttle lock that I absolutely love. It has worked really, really well. Uh, makes it more comfortable for riding all day, which I've done quite a bit on this bike. I put a dry bag on the back here. It's uh, a 40 liter that I smashed down pretty good that has my sleeping bag clothes and I need a few pillows. I get cramps in my neck at night so I need to keep my head supported. Um, that's the only other thing I add to this is that bag. Uh, tent goes in this side with a chair, clothes, cooking stuff is on the other side. So I could live off this bike indefinitely with just what I put on here.